Hello, my name is Kenneth John Odell. I am a WordPress developer and aficionado, and I love teaching people how to use WordPress. Today I want to talk about installing WordPress plugins from a zip file. This is a handy method to know. Uh, it is the way that you will do it if you purchase plugins from a third party since they will supply them to you as a zip file or if you like to just go on the plugin repository and uh, download a bunch of plugins to play with later. Um, let's go over here and just look for a contact form plugin and we'll type contact form into the search bar and we'll grab the first one again that comes up. WordPress is thinking my internet has been slow today. Okay, contact form. And we will go over here and click on the download button to get the latest version. And our browser is going to ask us where we'd like to save that. Since I'm going to install this right away, I like to uh, save it to the desktop because I know where it is. And then once I'm done, I can go ahead and put it in a folder somewhere to save it. Now, because I'm using Chrome, you can see here that it's telling me that we saved that. So we'll go over to WordPress, and again, this is similar to last time, we'll go to the dashboard. Then we will go to Plugins, and in the Flyout menu, we'll click on Add New. And before we searched for plugins from this point here, we're just going to click on Upload Plugin. And we're going to choose the file. And again, we are on a desktop, so we will go to Contact Form, Email, that's a zip file that we downloaded. And WordPress tells us this is the file. Make sure it's the correct one. We click on Install Now. Uh, it unpacks the package. It installs the plugin, and we'll go ahead and activate it. If we click on Return to Plugins page, it's going to take us to our Dashboard Plugins page, not back to the WordPress plugin repository. So we will activate this plugin. And again, the only thing we have to do then is figure out where it's going to keep its uh, settings menu. And if you look down here, again, it's right here in the main uh, settings menu. So we click on that, and here are our settings. All we need to do now is figure out how to use this plugin. 